Hey everyone, so today I wanted to talk about why I just took out a uh, position in both uh, Stratus and Lisk. Now, before I begin, this is not financial advice, uh, nor should it be considered as such. Uh, obviously, I am invested in both of these at this point, um, but wanted to give you sort of my reasonings why I think they're both good projects and, and why I think they're certainly worth keeping an eye on at this point. Just kind of given my, my history, my career up to this point, uh, I, I, I see them both having, having long, good, successful futures. So um, now with, with both Stratus and, and JavaScript, uh, my main reason for, for them, for liking them, is their development in modern programming languages. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a recruiter. Uh, my, my day job is a recruiter. Uh, many of you out there in the tech community probably don't like people like me. Uh, I don't like people like me, generally speaking. Uh, recruiters are a dime a dozen, but it's gotten me into this space um, of tech and, and kind of this world has even expanded my knowledge in uh, programming is something I've picked up as a hobby on the side just to continue to learn, build websites, just do sort of basic stuff like that. So uh, I, I'm not uh, going to sit here and call myself a, a programmer or anything like that, but I'm semi-technical. I, I at least understand it from uh, a basic perspective, at least in terms of how tech uh, works in the business world. And, and uh, that kind of plays into the my... Uh, my excitement in blockchain and, and you know cryptocurrency and, and sort of everything like that. So, uh, so a lot of because of that now because of this recruitment experience, there are uh, as far as I know there are a lot of companies out there who develop in you know there's there's sort of a, a core set of of programming languages. Um, obviously, you know Bitcoin, Ethereum. Ethereum is Solidity, but it's also a kind of blend of C plus plus. Um, C++ is a big one uh, that a lot of these uh, these technologies use, and while those you know that C++ is a, is a raw coding language, it's not something that has. I mean, it has libraries, but you know a lot of its uh, you know C++ is used for its latency. It, it can be really fast if, if coded and developed correctly. Uh, a lot of high frequency trading firms use it. Uh, a lot of financial firms. You know, partake in it again for speed and things like that. For fast transactions, if you get good custom developers in C++, you can develop really nice, really fast uh, applications. And so, kind of from that tier, you then go into uh, the C Sharp .NET tier. I don't even want to call them tiers. I don't really want. To, I don't want to break them up that way. But those who've decided to build applications within C Sharp. Um, and, and there are a lot of companies out there that do it. Um, you know, they offer up a, a nice software development kit, um, you know, for, for developers to come in, build those custom applications. Um, there's a lot of libraries. There's a lot of resources. There's a large community, obviously a lot of people who use it and develop on it. Um, and so that is built in, uh, that's, and, and that's what Stratus is built in. It's built in C Sharp and is designed for sort of that early adoption. So they're, they're really gunning for, uh, that corporate America, that side of the business or that, or that those businesses that are developing in that framework or in that language already and going after those folks to, to, to win business, to really help this catch on a little more, you know, C++ is still something that, yeah, a lot of people do know. A lot of developers know it's, it's one that's taught a lot in college, uh, and, and in university and, and kind of, it's something that you stick with. It's, it has a real fundamental type um, of breakdown to it. But uh, but a lot of times, you know, there are easier languages out there to develop in. So a lot of people go to C Sharp or Java um, or, or, you know, nowadays with Python and JavaScript, you know, web programming languages, those are becoming more and more robust. And speaking of, that's why I also went into Lisk. Now, Lisk is built in JavaScript and more and more companies are going the route of building web applications or web software as a service, web-based software as a service as in say Node and uh, a lot of these open source technologies. So, um, you know, that's an exciting project too because that allows them to, to connect with an already really large uh, or a much larger community than the Solidity and even the, prof you know, pro prolific C++ developers. Uh, so, so my reasoning for, th for both of these, as you can probably tell, are just to through their adoption. I mean, they're, they're primed, they're being primed for adoption. And, you know, I, I you know, I don't want to get into the philosophy of things, uh, of, of terms of, 
you know, cryptocurrency and privacy and, and, and all of that, um, you know, this purely from, from an opportunity standpoint and an adoption standpoint, you know, we all want to see this stuff take off, you know, take off and catch on because we know what it means. We know what it can, can bring to the rest of the world. So for that to happen, we need to, it, it needs to crack sort of the framework that's already laid out, which is these modern programming languages, these modern, modernly built applications that can then have the blockchain technology integrated into it. So uh, that's, and that's another reason why I'm in on them. Uh, they are, are catered more to, um, you know, uh, uh, the, the Java world and the banking and all of that. So, um, so yeah, that it, it's an exciting time. And, and that's why I get really excited about where this is going when I see and hear things about, you know, Stratus and, and things like that. You know, that, that's what, that's what really gets me interested in, and excited for what the future is going to turn into. I mean, we're going to take these old, I mean, they're going to be old applications at some point and putting them and, and reinforcing them and, and, you know, strengthening them into this blockchain now, blockchain technology. Uh, I mean, who knows what what iterations, what ideas can come of this technology in in ways we're, we're probably not even familiar with. I mean, we hear of you know oh, they're going to put land on the blockchain in terms of uh, land payments or, or or excuse me, land um, disbursement and who it goes to, who it belongs to, land ownership. Um, you know, countries are going to be putting their citizens' IDs on on to the blockchain. Uh, hospitals and healthcare will eventually catch on and they will do uh, medical health records on it. I mean, the, the, it, it's just going to keep going and going and going. And so when I hear things like C Sharp and JavaScript based blockchains that are being developed and, and being designed and catered to uh, what is already in place, I mean, I see a golden opportunity. So, um, you know, a lot of people like to say Stratus is the you know, sort of the next ether. And, and, and to some degree, I would agree. Uh, I don't know if it's going to get the same. Um, well, I mean, who knows? It, it, honestly, if, if ether is successful, uh, and e Ethereum catches on the EEA continues to put more and more, uh, bring on more and more big sponsors, obviously, that's going to affect Ethereum positively, but uh, the industry as a whole could maybe then switch gears when they realize, oh, Solidity developers are expensive, or oh, the, you know, finding people to actually do this work is going to be really, really expensive. So, uh, you know, I, I think overall that that that's going to then kind of open the door up for for C sharp, for JavaScript based blockchains to then be integrated because cost savings are always going to be big with these companies. It's believe me, it's pretty much the, it, every aspect of my job involves money, obviously with staffing. So when you think about cost savings and what that's going to look like, you're going to get the big players who are going to go the route of Ethereum, but you're going to get a lot of others who are going to go the route of Stratus and Lisk and them and other ones that are going to be more easily adopted for their current infrastructure and IT side. So not financial advice, but I, I did, you know, move, move some of uh, my Ethereum games gains around. Uh, and I'm already up today with, uh, with Stratus and Lisk. So I saw it was a good opportunity. They were finally dropped down. I'd been eyeing them since they were up in the $14 range for Stratus. And, and I think Lisk was even as high as seven bucks. And, um, ever since kind of the last couple of days here with the, with the falling Bitcoin, um, went ahead and took advantage, uh, and both of them are rebounding nicely and, and don't necessarily follow the trend of, of Bitcoin. So, uh, a good way to sort of offset any of my gains and, and, uh, just diversify, which is something uh, I personally like to do and be, uh, just because I'm a tech generally a more risk adverse person. So for the third time, not financial advice. Uh, so if you like this content, like it, uh, subscribe for more. Uh, I'll always be kind of between this and news and, and all sorts of, of different or overviews and tutorials, uh, I'll be looking to just bring you guys uh, my perspective, uh, what I'm learning, uh, and continue to watch, uh, watch other videos and learn myself. It's, it's, it's a big learning process and a big learning community. And, and it's nice to see that everyone's really involved in that way. And in a matter of teaching, there's not a lot of hostility. I mean, there is, but generally speaking, there's not a lot of hostility. So it's, it's, uh, it's been great being a part of it at this point and, and certainly look forward to, to continuing on. So, uh, so please comment, uh, kind of leading into that, you know, not really, uh, speaking as much with you guys. So I'd love to hear more. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I'm always willing to have a conversation or, uh, you know, take any criticisms as necessary. So, um, yeah, that's in it for me. So until next time, 
We'll catch you guys later.